Okay, so hello everyone. This is Akshay here. Let us continue with today's GFG problem of the day. Today's question is the one which we have covered in the past and in a more detailed manner. Today's question name is a count all possible path, right? So the constraint here or the question given here is that we have been given an undirected connected graph consisting of n vertices and connections between them represented by adjacency matrix. What we need to do is to determine whether it is a possible to start traversing from a node x, return to which after traversing all the vertices at least once using each edge exactly once. मतलब ये क्या कहना चाह रहा है कि अगर आप node x से start कर रहे हो, तो पूरा traverse होने के बाद आपको x पर ही आना है. और ये traversal की जो process है, इसमें आपको दो चीज का ध्यान रखना है कि आप सारे vertices को at least एक बार तो visit करो ही, right? और जो edges हैं, उनको exactly एक बार visit करोगे, right? So this is the same question which we have done in day 388 of our GFG period history. हमने वहाँ पे we have seen the Eulerian path, Eulerian circuit, right? What were the parameters involved to solve this question? Here in this question, we just need to find whether this particular graph forms a Eulerian circuit or not, right? You can clearly see the conditions here for the previous question. That is, a Eulerian path is nothing but that visited. Visits e every edge exactly once. That is mentioned here as well. Each edge exactly once. And Eulerian circuit is a Eulerian path where start which which starts and ends on the same vertex, right? So definitely this question is nothing but finding a Eulerian path possible, Eulerian circuit possible or not, right? So we have done a detailed explanation in day 388. I have explained you all the possible cases. The what we need to think of. The graph should be connected. Yes, if it is not connected, then none of the path would be possible. Not the path or the circuit would be possible, right? So these were the cases we discussed. I highly recommend you to go through the cases. And the Eulerian circuit, we just saw that the number of odd degree vertices should be equal to zero, and that's it. You would be good to go, right? So again, the prerequisite of the today's question would be you have to watch this video. I'll mention the link in the description, and should be showing up here now as well. So. What we'll do, we'll just check here that if all the vertices have the even degrees, that is, no such vertices should have an odd degree, right? So when I say degree, undirected graph, hai, right? We just need to check जो भी vertices edges बने हैं वहाँ पे, उनका जो count है, that should not be odd. अगर किसी भी vertices के लिए में odd मिला, then and there we will say not possible. And they have specifically mentioned that this is a connected graph, right? तो ये चीज़ हमें check करने की ज़रूरत नहीं पड़ेगी, करेगी, नहीं करने की ज़रूरत पड़ेगा, because the first and foremost condition here was to check if it is connected or not. If it is not connected, then definitely no path or circuit would be possible, right? So that would be the code for this particular question. A traversing for each and every rows, and then we are checking that if uh, we are getting the count of the degrees, and if the count of the degree is odd, then and there return zero, else return one. That would be the entire solution. But ye video three minute ka isle ban paya yar because we have done this question in very detailed manner in the past, right? So highly recommended. Please watch this video. Do not just copy paste the solution for the sake of maintaining your streak. And if you also want to verify the same from the given graph as well, let us do a very simple dry run just to verify that it is working or not, right? So for this particular graph, you can clearly see it's a one-base indexing, right? So one is connected with two, it is connected to three, it is connected to four, it is connected to five. Now what else? The two is connected to three, four, and five. So two connected to three, connected to four, connected to five. What else? Three is connected to four. Three is connected to four. What else we have? Four is connected to two, three. It is connected to two, connected to three. It is connected to five as well. So I'll draw an edge here. Five is connected to four. That is done, right? So one of the possible path they are taking, they are saying, is that you go from one to three, then you go three to four, then you go three to four, then you go four to five, and then five to one. And you can clearly see that we are, as of now, we are just visited the Edges exactly once you're not repeating it. Five to one, then one to four again, then four to two and one. So you you can see that we started from one and we reached the end as one as well, and uh, we have covered the rest of the ed edges exactly once and covered all the vertices at least once. Right? This will work. Please watch the previous video and then get a detailed explanation on. Till then, keep learning, keep doing. Bye bye and take care. Let us meet again in the next video, and do like, share, and subscribe subscribe our channel here, yeah? and. Let's be in touch. Let us meet in the next video. Bye-bye.